we've all heard a lot about historic about conservation districts and I've heard it called historic district light and it's a tool we'd like to see the city introduced into the preservation tool kit and it it will be easier to establish than deed restrictions or historic districts only the planning department may initiate a, an application we clearly mean that that's with partnership with interested neighborhoods and communities what I've heard from neighborhoods are concerns about you know, tall tall townhomes next to a modest single-family structure or in a block of all original single-family structures we would be looking for 51 percent approval and then if we get that, you see on the top there, we would come to HHC who could disapprove it or modify it or forward it to city council. If we didn't have the 51% support, the same as historic districts, we could look at modifying those districts or adjusting them. If a district is brought forth and we have accepted that and we're moving forward to the public hearing phase, we would then place restrictions on properties. There would be no permits granted until HHC or city council make a decision to approve or disapprove creation of the conservation district or 181 days. The calendar days may be extended up to a max of 301. Would there be a, a role um, alongside the ordinance to request staff support for this? I mean, we, we are already, the commission is understaffed. The office is understaffed with the existing historic district. We, we got approval from the administration for half a full-time person. If there's less than 51% support, there's an opportunity to modify. Would it again go back for voting? The, uh, the boundary of the district can be modified at the staff level mm -hmm. and then brought to commission showing the 51% support. If I own an entire city block of homes, I own 15 homes, Two people across the street own one home each. <clears throat> Are they going to be able to say they have 66% of the people and you lose out? If there's 100 owners out there, you need 51 of the 100 to say yes, or is it just the number of people that you mail out the ballots and get them back? It says as soon as the director says, oh, yeah, it meets all the criteria, permits stop. We saw the ordinance last week, late last week, and here we are starting to perhaps vote on it. And we think there's just a lot of questions and issues that are still outstanding and need to be. How long does the community have to garner education, support, and submit an application for the conservation district? And is there a possible way for us to get definitive timelines to better understand how long the process will take? How long will these conservation districts be honored? Uh, next, uh, what is the planning department's contingency plan to account for architecture that doesn't align with the approved conservation district, but was packaged in with the whole? I know legal can give you a little on the time. Timeline. But I do want to say this has been brought to the HHC. I don't remember the exact date. It seems like it was more than a year ago. We've talked 